Welcome back to our channel today we have very bad news. According to CBS News, Charles Osgood, the humorous journalist for CBS News, who shepherded CBS Sunday Morning for more than 20 years, a longer tenure than the show's initial presenter, Charles Kuralt, passed away on Tuesday at the age of 91. CBS News reports that Osgood had been living with dementia for a period of time. Between the years 1971 and 2017, he was also the host of a long-running radio news program called The Osgood File. Osgood would occasionally provide rhyming comments on the most recent headlines, and at other times, he would analyze a major event. The audio vignettes were broadcast four times every weekday morning on a variety of stations across the United States. He would occasionally say goodbye to listeners by saying, I'll see you on the radio. I'll see you on the radio. It was common knowledge that Osgood would say short words, short sentences, and short paragraphs. When it comes to making anything shorter and better, there is nothing that cannot be improved. Before he retired in 2016, he had worked for CBS News for a total of 45 years. It was during his tenure that Sunday Morning had some of its highest ratings levels in the past three decades, and it was awarded the Daytime Emmy for Outstanding Morning Program on three separate occasions. During an interview with CBS News, Rand Morrison, who has been the executive producer of Sunday Morning for a significant amount of time, stated that it would be an understatement to suggest that there is no one like Charles Osgood. He was the very embodiment of the spirit and spirit of Sunday Morning. It was his unique bow tie, his poetry, and just his presence that made him stand out to the audience, as well as to those of us who had the opportunity to collaborate with him. The 8th of January, 1933 found Charles Osgood Wood II being born in the city of New York. His early years were spent taking piano lessons, delivering newspapers, and listening to the radio. He was reared in Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New Jersey. He spent his childhood in all three of these locations. In the 1950s, while he was a student at Fordham University, he spent a significant amount of time working at the campus radio station, WFUV. He eventually became the lead announcer of the station and started his own program, which featured his banter and piano renditions. In the year 1954, he would receive his bachelor's degree in economics from the university. His first job was as a DJ at WGMS in Washington, District of Columbia, where he played classical music. In a short amount of time, he made the decision to enlist in the United States Army in order to become a band announcer. Over the course of many years, he would work extensively with John Kakatis, a musician and band arranger. The lyrics for Gallant Men, which became a top 40 hit in December of 1966, were written by the two. In 1958, Osgood resigned from the Army and went back to work at WGMS. Shortly after that, he was made the general manager of WHSDT, the first pay cable channel in the United States, which was located in Hartford, Connecticut. Despite the fact that the endeavor was not successful, Osgood accepted a position as an on-air host at ABC Radio in New York in 1963. His tenure as a general assignment reporter lasted for four years, during which time he also made contributions to the Flair Report, where he started rhyming pieces and reading them aloud on the radio. While working as an anchor reporter for Duty CBS News Radio 88 in New York in 1967, Osgood was responsible for anchoring the early morning dry shift. This was during the time when the station transitioned into an all-news source. Eventually, he would come to work for CBS News, where he was responsible for launching the radio program Osgood File. Thanks for watching.